this is the collar, also known as the throat, also known as comma. And when I first started fishing with Aaron, I asked him for the collars and he was like, really, you want that? <laughs> and I convinced him to take one home and barbecue it or grill it. And I think after that, he's kept every collar off of every fish that he's, that he's caught. It really is something, if you haven't had it, it's one of the best cuts of the fish. That's and a true it story. Is, it is something that gets thrown away a lot. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. If you've been following along, we are on our third episode of that big grouper that Aaron shot. And I took all the scraps from that grouper. So today, we are gonna be steaming the collars and making grouper collar escovitch. Escovitch is a Jamaican dish where they pickle peppers, hot peppers, allspice, and onion. And then they put that on top of steamed or grilled fish. A lot of times it's actually deep fried and then they put that, the pickling on top. So today what we're gonna do is steam our collar. Not only are we gonna put allspice in our pickling liquid, but I know where there is an allspice tree here in Key West. And this right here is the allspice tree. And if you break open the leaves, it smells heavenly. That smells like clove, cinnamon. It really, it smells like Thanksgiving. So we're gonna grab a couple of these leaves, put them on top of our collar, wrap them around in a banana leaf, steam it, and then we're gonna make our pickles for the topping. So these are our banana leaves to steam the fish in. There we go, that's a good one. And if you're also familiar with my channel, you know that I go around the neighborhood stealing banana leaves from everybody. I haven't gotten caught or yelled at yet, but there's still time. So in this traditional Jamaican dish called escovitch, it is a pickled topping, also called a sauce. And what it consists of is onion, peppers, a little bit of garlic, a scotch bonnet pepper, not too much because that will blow your face off. So just a little bit and allspice berries. After all of that is sliced up fine, we put it in a pickling liquid, which is a really basic equal parts salt, sugar, vinegar, and water. And I'm going to show you how to measure out the vinegar and the water after we chop all this up. And now, our scotch bonnet. Like I said, these will blow your face off. So we are only using a very small piece. And what is hot inside of these is gonna be the pith, which is the white rib, and the seeds. Now these peppers, unlike jalapenos, they're still very spicy just in the meat of the pepper. And also, after you chop them, do not rub your eyes. I do it every time. So word to the wise. That little bit of scotch bonnet pepper is gonna spice up that entire pickle. It is gonna permeate with all the vinegar and really make that a nice spicy flavor. If I put more in there, it would be way too much. So the easiest way to measure out your pickling liquid or your ratios rather of the vinegar and water is after you have everything julienned and in its container, you can now measure out half and half. So I'm gonna pour this into about halfway. That looks about, about half. And then my other half 
is water. And now, once that's in the pot, we can taste it and adjust. If it's too vinegary, before we boil it, obviously. But if we taste it and it's too vinegary, we add a little more water or vice versa, we add a little more vinegar. Now remember, the veggies are gonna soak up that vinegar. So you want it to be with a little bit of bite to it, a little bit stronger than if you were just eating it like a soup. So first things first, get our pot going and now here I have allspice berries. Allspice berries and scotch bonnet are really prevalent in Jamaican cooking. So I'm not gonna put these directly in my pickles and then pour my pickling liquid on. I'm first gonna put them into the pan with no oil or anything in it. The reason why is because the heat is gonna heat those up and release some of the essential oil. So I'm gonna get more flavor out of those by doing this trick then putting it directly into my pickling liquid. So now that these are heated up, I can still touch them. I don't, I don't wanna saute them or burn them or anything like that. I just wanna heat them up, like I said, to heat up that oil and get it just moving a little bit. Now, very carefully, pour in my pickling liquid. And now I'm gonna add equal parts salt and sugar. Now you can mix those up and add it also gradually until you get what you want. And if you like a sweeter pickle, you can go more sugar than salt. If you like a saltier pickle, more salt than sugar. I go equal parts. And now that I have pretty much everything in there, that's spot on. Now, if you've ever drank pickle juice, it's not the most enjoyable thing in the world unless you're doing a pickleback. So it shouldn't be mild. It should have a bite to it. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my salt and sugar mixture, and then we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Once it boils, we pour it onto our veg and then put it in the fridge to cool down. Our pickling liquid came up to a boil. Shut that off. And now, Now I pack that a little bit tight. Normally, you want your liquid to come up over your veg, but this will be fine. So I'm gonna throw a cover on this, throw it in the fridge and let that completely cool down. And then we'll go cook the collars. So if you're unfamiliar with Key West, the Key West chickens. They are everywhere on the island. As you see across the street there, we got roosters, chickens, all the little chicks, and they are protected. You're actually not supposed to feed them, touch them, or anything. You just leave them alone and let them live. So I have all of my ingredients here ready to go to make our grouper collar escovitch. Now the collar itself is gonna be very plain. I'm just gonna salt it and steam it in the banana leaves with our allspice leaves and that's going to be the only flavor on the collar because most of the flavor is going to come from the pickles that we made and the pickle brine that we're going to pour over the collar. So first things first, I have to get my water steaming. So I'll add that, turn that up to high heat, wait for that to start steaming while we prep our collar. Now the collar, because I only have this pot I can only do half of the collar at a time. So let me cut that down. And now that is an entire meal right there. Again, from something that would have been discarded. So with this, using garlic salt, and we'll heavily salt that. And now, add our allspice leaves, which I'm gonna break up so that more of the flavor can come out. And it doesn't matter if this is wrapped tightly. I just want it covered so that the steam isn't hitting the fish directly.
and that's it. Ready to go once we have a steam going. We don't need anything to hold that closed because the weight of the collar itself is going to hold that closed. Now when I put this in and it's steaming and I put the lid on, it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to completely steam through. Now we have a rolling boil going, nice and steamy, and I drop in my collar, and lid back on. I'll see you in 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes, and I feel in my heart that our collar is cooked. Hopefully I am correct. That is cooked. Oh, it's falling apart, it's cooked so well. Oh my gosh. All right, so now, all we're gonna do is top with our Escovich and a little bit of the brine. And there we have it. That's our steam collar with allspice leaves with our pickled Escovich on top. Nice, nice pretty piece to show you. Look at that meat. That is incredible. The collar is fatty, and the vinegar and the pickle brine cuts right through that fat. So even though I wouldn't call this a sauce, it acts like a sauce and adds another dimension of flavor. So that collar, really, really subtle with the allspice leaves, but it is cooked so nicely, and the crunch versus the softness of that collar, perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm gonna finish eating this, but at the end of this video, like I said in the last video, I actually have a gift for you guys, a giveaway, and I'm gonna tell you what it is and how to get it. So the guys over at Meeson have taken care of me. They sent me a couple knives and a pan, and what they also sent was this knife set to give away to you guys. So you have a chef's knife, a bread knife, and a paring knife. And each one of these is about $50, so this is an incredible giveaway. Now, the way to win these knives, in one of the prior episodes of this series, so either episode one or episode two, I mention the weight of the grouper that we're making all the meals out of. So the first person to find it and write in pounds what the weight of the grouper is on the comments on this video, I will message you and we'll send you this knife set. Now for anyone that doesn't get the knife set but you want to check them out, go to Meeson.com, check out their knives and you can use uh, my discount code for 20% off which is just all capital letters CLAMS. I'll put that in the description also so that you guys won't forget. But thanks a lot for watching this episode. I'm looking forward to giving this knives, knives away to someone and if you like this episode, hit like hit subscribe, share the episodes, and come back for the fourth episode in this series. I'll see you on the next one.